I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will understand the significance of derivatives and relation of derivatives with horizontal tangent line. Let me thank my student Anna for posting this question and I hope many students will help from it. The question is, find the point where tangent is horizontal for functions. Now there could be more than a point. So let me write points here. We are looking into two functions. The first one is f of x equals to sin x minus cos x, where x is between 0 to 2 pi. The second one is f of x equals to e to the power of x minus x over e. Now, what do you understand by horizontal tangent? If on the graph of a function we have a turning point, then at that turning point we will have horizontal tangent. That's what it means. And what is going to be the slope of this tangent line? Zero, right? So, so we are saying that f dash a equals to zero. So basically we have to find the value of a. So that is what the question is. So I hope the question is clear to you. Now, and now let me remind you what are the derivatives of these uh, terms which we have here. Uh, sin x, d dx of sin x is what? It is cos x, right? And d dx of cos x is minus of sin x. And the derivative of e to the power of x will be e to the power of x. That's what you need, right? Remember, e is a constant. Now, I hope with this, you should be in a position to answer this question. So, you can now pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions, right? Let's move on and solve these questions one by one. The first one here is, we need to find the point where the tangent is horizontal for the function sin x minus cos x. So let's find the derivative. Derivative of this function will be sin x derivative is cos x and cos x derivative is minus sin x. Perfect. Now you could write this as equal to cos x plus sin x. Now when we say that where the tangent is horizontal, that means, uh, let us say, let it be A, right? Where the horizontal tangent exists. So, so we are saying that at x equals to A, we have horizontal tangent. perfect so that means that the derivative should be zero right so at a this should be equal to zero you get the idea this is the key right this is the key to understand now once you understand that then we can easily find the value right so we are saying at a i should replace x with a actually right so anyway so what we are trying to say here is that cos x plus sin x is equal to 0. That's what we mean. So let's solve for x. So we have sin x equals to minus cos x. Dividing by cos x, we have sin x divided by cos x equals to minus 1. And what is that? This is tan x, right? So what we get here is sin x over cos x negative 1 which indeed is equal to or we can say which implies that tan x is equal to negative 1 perfect now in the given domain which is 0 to 2 pi when is tan x negative 1 
tan x is negative 1 in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4. Right? You know the rule, all are positive in quadrant 1, sine in 2, tan in 3, cosine in 4th quadrant. Tan x is minus 1 for x equal to pi by 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4 and that one is 7 pi by 4, 1 less than 8 pi by 4. So two values, one is 3 pi by 4, the other one is 7 pi by 4. Since we need to find the point, right find the point I should say points right we already got two values here let's find the y coordinate also so we have to find what is f of 3 pi by 4 that is sine 3 pi by 4 minus cos 3 pi by 4 sine is positive cos is negative so pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2 and here it is minus of cos is negative so minus 1 over square root 2 okay so what we get here is that becomes plus so it is 2 over square root 2 or equal to square root 2 so we get our coordinate so this coordinate is basically 3 pi by 4 the x coordinate and the y value square root 2, right? So that is 1. Let's find the other one, which is f of 7 pi by 4, right? So substituting, we get sine of 7 pi by 4 minus cos of 7 pi by 4. We know sine is negative here, however, cos is positive. So we get negative 1 over square root 2 minus 1 over square root 2 which is negative 2 over square root 2 or equals to negative square root 2. Correct? So that gives us the second answer. Right? So, so the first one is 3 pi by 2 square root 2. The other one is 7 pi by I mean 4 minus square root 2. Perfect? So we get two answers. Let me write down our solution. So the answer is, for this particular function, we'll have horizontal tangent at two points. One of them is uh, five, uh, sorry, 3 pi by 4 square root 2. And the other point is 7 pi by 4 minus square root 2. Right? So that is the solution, correct? So I hope it's absolutely clear. Now let's move on and find solution for the next question. Now let us find the points where tangent is horizontal for the function f of x equals to e to the power of x minus x over e. Remember e is an irrational number but it's a constant. Okay, So let's find the derivative of the function. Derivative of e to the power of x is e to the power of x and derivative of x is 1, so we get minus 1 over e, correct? Okay? So that is the first derivative. Now when you say that you're looking for a point where tangent is horizontal, so let's say the point is a, so let x equals to a be the point for horizontal tangent. So in that case, f dash a should be equal to 0. Is it okay? So let's replace with a and then we'll find what a is. So we get f dash a equals to e to the power of a minus 1 over e. That's what we get. And that should be equal to 0. Okay? So that gives you the equation e to the power of a is equals to 1 over e. Now, that clearly means that a is minus 1, since you know e to the power of minus 1 is 1 over e. Or, you could also write here, e to the power of a equals to e to the power of minus 1. Either way, right? so if you write that, or this, whatever, 
in that case you get your solution clearly as a equals to minus 1 correct so a is the x value let's find what is f of a so substitute a in the original expression you get e to the power of a minus a over e right so that becomes your expression and therefore you write down your answer as the point is minus 1 e to the power of a minus a over e right so that is how you would actually solve this particular question so i hope the concept is clear so what we learned here is that slope of a tangent line which is horizontal is zero a curve could have more than one point where the tangent is zero that's another thing which we learned which was there in the first example where we took trigonometric functions so i hope you understand the concept feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thank you and all the best